Paige here. So today I am going to be touching up my roots because as you can see, they are quite grown out. I haven't done my roots since October and it is May now. So it has been a hot minute. A couple of pointers before we get started. Make sure you are wearing something that you don't care if it gets stained because I can guarantee you, I am gonna get bleach on this thing. It's just part of it. I also recommend wearing gloves. The bleach is really strong. That bleach is gonna not feel very fun on your fingers after a couple of minutes. And then some people like to put some sort of maybe petroleum jelly or something around their hairline to just protect their skin. If I were a more prepared person, I probably would also do that, but I don't have petroleum jelly right now. So for my bleach powder, I use the L'Oreal Quick Blue in Extra Strength, and I'm going to be mixing my bleach with my 30 volume developer. The first time I bleached my hair, I accidentally mixed my bleach powder with water, and I was like, oh, why is this so foamy? This is weird. And thankfully, I realized before I put it on my head that I used water and not developer. So I mix this up pretty smooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and part my hair as much in the center as possible. I haven't washed my hair in like five days and I've done that on purpose because I want there to be a protective layer of product, hairspray, natural oils built up on my hair as its own kind of protective barrier against this harsh bleach that's going to be on the hair. So I am starting at the roots at the back of my head. The back of the head takes the longest to develop. So I'm gonna go ahead and start back there. I've sectioned out a piece at the bottom. I don't have a mirror or any way of seeing the back of my head. So just trusting by feel that it's a good section. With my brush, I'm going to apply the bleach to the over and underneath of each strand only to about halfway down my hair right now or about to where my natural color has grown out to. I like to go in and kind of mush it in with my fingers. You want your hair to be as coated and saturated with the bleach uh, mixture as possible because that's going to give you a much more even coverage overall. So I feel like I've gotten to about a halfway point up the back of my head here. So now I'm going to come in and start bringing down some side pieces. To be completely honest, I like don't really know what I'm doing. I just watch Brad Mondo videos and pray to the God of Brad Mondo and hope that I'm doing it correctly. So at this point, I've kind of abandoned the brush and moved into a finger only application. I like to be able to just feel it, feel the level of saturation, feel where it is that I'm squishing in that bleach. This is why you want to wear something that you don't care about. I can use that. So at this point, I just have a little bit of hair left at the top of my head. So I'm just gonna pull these down to their sides. I'll just start in the back, really super saturate these. Notice too that I am pushing the bleach up close to my scalp, but I'm not like scratching it into my scalp. All right, so finishing up the application on my roots, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my baby hairs. And then I'm gonna lift up this hair by my ear and apply some right around my ear here real close. And then right away, I'm gonna wipe what I just got on my ear off my ear because I'm not looking to die tonight. This is already masochistic enough. Same thing over on 
this side. Oh, it burns. And hopefully that looks good. Of course, also use a towel that you don't care if it gets stained during this process. So there we have it. The bleach is applied. I feel decent enough about this application. I do feel like I did a decent job. So the next step, a really important part of this process, while this bleach is processing, we don't want it to dry out. So I have a plastic bag here. If I had a spray bottle, I would go ahead and just mist some water into it. I currently don't, so don't judge me. I'm just gonna like, like some water in there. The idea is that you essentially just want some moisture in this plastic bag because the moisture and then the heat emanating from your head is going to help really process this bleach. So let's go ahead and get this on. So typically for a root touch up, I would probably only leave this on my head for about 10 minutes because the roots die really quickly. The bleach sticks to them really quickly. It's new hair, it's virgin hair. So it's gonna process really fast. But because my roots were so grown out, I'm probably gonna leave this on for about 20 minutes total. I am gonna check it though at the 10 minute mark just to make sure that my hair isn't falling off. So I'll see you in about 20 minutes. So I checked it at 10 minutes, it's looking good. The level was coming out really nice and I wasn't seeing much breakage. It's been about 20 minutes now, so I'm gonna check it again and then I think we're gonna be good to rinse. Whew. So to check the level of lift that you're getting so far, you want to take a strand from the back of your head, just kind of like wipe out some of the bleach and see how it's looking. This is looking good. It looks really nicely lifted kind of everywhere. So I like the way it's looking and I'm gonna go ahead and rinse. I'll be back in a second. All right, friends. So I've gone ahead and rinsed out the bleach. I did use a little bit of shampoo, herbal essences, clear shampoo. And as you can see, it actually stripped out a lot more of the pink than I expected. And also it's not looking too great right now. It, it has a lot of these brassy tones, which is to be expected. So I've got L'Oreal Ever Pure Sulfate Free Brass Toning Purple Conditioner. Last time I did my roots, I used an actual toner. Well, a toner, we all love it, we all know it. But I tried this on a friend. It worked out really well, bleaching from virgin hair. So I wanted to try it on my own hair and see how it works out. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it, let it sit for a couple of minutes, and then I will give Back to you. So I've applied the purple toning conditioner. I probably should have applied this only to my roots, but I did end up just slathering it on and applying it everywhere because the bleach did end up getting everywhere. Bleach is really noxious and I felt like all of my hair could use a bit of conditioning love. Because I have applied this everywhere, I am a little bit worried that my ends are gonna come out like a platinum white and my top like closer to my scalp is going to still have a bit of brassiness so we'll see so the bottle suggests five minutes i'm gonna leave it on for 10 and once i rinse it out we'll come back and see what it looks like all right so as you may have expected this toning conditioner did not do a ton for um these really brassy parts at the top it did really make the bottoms uh like a very platinum blonde in some cases it even overtoned and they have a little bit of a bluish tint to them so because my hair has been through a lot i'm going to just apply a deep conditioning mask i'll let my hair sit over night soak up that moisture and goodness and tomorrow I'm gonna to come back and I'll reapply that conditioner just in these really brassy sections I'll see you tomorrow hey friends so production quality has gone down because my tripod broke and also because it's been five days now since I bleached my hair I have toned it three times now with my purple conditioner and I'm just getting irritated I want to move on to the fun part so this is what my hair looks like after the one bleaching and three uses of my purple conditioner there is still quite a lot of yellow. However, I'm hoping that with the colors that I've mixed up that it won't be a huge deal. So let me show you the colors that I've mixed up here. All right, so I got my little setup here, towel covering half my sink. Um, I've got my separator comb, application brush, foils in case I need them. And then I've mixed up this blue color. I tried to mix in some pink and some magenta to it to change the color of the blue. It's definitely less green than it initially was. So the blue that I started with here is this funky color, punky color, I don't even know. But it's really like an aquamarine, like greenish blue turquoise. This kind of hot pink going on 
which I mix from the Manic Panic Hot Hot Pink with a bit of just plain white conditioner. I'm not using developer for any of these. I've also got my dark magenta color, deep magenta, that I mixed from the Manic Panic Fuchsia Shock. Again, just with some white conditioner. And then I haven't mixed this color. I did add some of it to my blue, um, but I haven't mixed it with any conditioner. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. The Manic Panic Cotton Candy Pink. So basically my idea here is sort of like a mermaid unicorn kind of a look. I've never done this before. I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out. I'll be applying the magenta um, to my roots and hopefully getting like a shadow root kind of effect and then alternating sections with my blue and my lighter hot pink color. I don't feel very intimidated by this because if it comes out looking like just a smorgasbord of colors on my head, I feel like it's still gonna be fine. I'm not expecting perfection with this look. I'm just expecting kind of a blend of fun colors all over. It might be weird, but we're gonna find out. So wish me luck. All right, so I've got all of my colors supplied, the magenta, the hot pink, and the blue. I didn't end up using that really light pink, but this is what it's looking like. Again, I'm really sorry for the poor quality here, so hopefully you can kind of see. As you can see, I've got the magenta up close to my head and then I intersperse some blue and hot pink. I made a huge mess. I got it all over the place, but it doesn't matter. I really don't care. I'm just excited to see how this turns out at this point. So obviously my process was hand application, no gloves because IDK. So I used a brush applicator to apply the magenta all over my roots, starting from the center of my head, pulling it down bringing up a section, getting the under, the over of the next section. I continued that way in three sections around my head, side, side, and back. And once the roots were done with that magenta color, then I just went in with my hands and pieced out sections for the hot pink and the blue. Just kind of whatever I felt like. There was no rhyme or reason to it. At this point, I like how it looks. I think the spacing of the different uh, the hot pink and the blue is good. I made sure to really blend it and pull it down with that magenta at the top. So hopefully it's a nice like kind of blended effect. And so I'm gonna let this sit for 20 to 30 minutes and then I'll rinse it out with cold water. So warm water is going to open up the strands of your hair a bit more and make it porous. Whereas cold water is going to close those pores, lock that color in. So after 20, 30 minutes, I'm gonna rinse it with cold water. I'm gonna try to clean up a bit because I don't wanna be a purple person for the rest of the day. And I will show you the final product. Hello again. All right, so I'm here with the final product and this is how it came out. My final thoughts with this process. Honestly, the fantasy colors came out way better than I thought they would. My hair was not down to a good pale blonde everywhere. And the manic panic that I applied, I was just going in with a hand application. So the fact that I actually got okay blending, at least I think it's okay. I don't know, let me know what you think in the comments. So to be honest, my hair has been like this for a week already. It's taken me a week to film this after video. I know, I'm sorry. But that means that a lot of my friends have already seen it and all of them keep asking if I had it done professionally. So I'm just gonna like take that as a cap in my feather, feather in my cap something in my book? Feather in my cap, I think that's it. I'm gonna take that as a compliment and I'm really happy with how it came out. So if you are thinking about doing fantasy colors, I highly recommend it. It's something that I've had so much fun doing the whole panini press and it's really not as intimidating as it seems. Go ahead and hit that like button or hit subscribe if you wanna see more videos of me doing things with my hair. I hope you liked this transformation video.